Last November in Greenville for National Sandwich Day, the hospitality community came together to honor Eugenia Duke's legacy and make 10,000 sandwiches to give away to local food banks and schools and soup kitchens and shelters. Well, this year, the launch of a Mayo Trail. I yes. like this. Uh, <laughs> Taryn Shear down there on behalf of Visit Greenville SC along with Tay Nelson from Bobby's Barbecue. Welcome. This is going to be fun, huh? Yes. This is going to be delicious. I <laughs> love this. So, so Taryn, Eugenia Duke's official Mayo Guide to Greenville is a self-guided trail. If 20 bites where this beloved condiment shines, plus four bonus history stops. Give us the quick overview. You know, for years, people have always asked me, you know, what's Greenville's thing? If I come to Greenville, what do I have to eat? And we've struggled with this to answer this question for so long. And the answer was literally right under our nose all along. <laughs> we own Duke's mayonnaise. Like, yeah. it, nobody yeah. else can claim Duke's mayonnaise. And people love Duke's mayonnaise. They do. Yeah. I mean, the fall, and, and sometimes that's even the question. Like, you're making that with Duke's, right? I mean, that's the way yes. people that operate down here. I'm um, Tay Bobby's Barbecue one of the restaurants on the Mayo Trail. Um, you're putting together a dish right now that you can combine you yes, using a good we, amount of mayo. What we you use got? Our, my coleslaw is what's in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, and when it, people put on everything. They put yeah. on sandwiches, but people like it because most coleslaws are sweet, but ours a little bit different. We got Dukes in it. We have our original all-purpose seasoning. And I think that's the thing I don't like sometimes about coleslaw is the sweetness. So let's do yes. this. So we have six cups of shredded cabbage. You can get it from any grocery store. It's already come pre-packaged. You just toss that in the bowl. Mm -hmm. All right, and then you got your half, one and a half teaspoon of sugar. You got your one and a half teaspoon of Bobby's. You got your two tablespoons of vinegar. And you got your half cup of Duke's mayonnaise. You got to have the Duke's. Is that all? That's it. All right. And you mix it in there, and that makes about four to six servings. And the best thing to do is let it sit for a couple hours, even overnight. And you just mix that up in there like that. And the Dukes is what gives it that twang, right? Yes. It, yeah. it cuts through the sweetness. That's which what is... needs to happen for me. So that really yes. looks good. Oh, what kinds of reactions do you get when people, maybe, I bet you have people that didn't know that they liked coleslaw no, and then they, they try this. It. What do they, they say? They love it. Like we had a person come sad and she said, I normally get coleslaw. She said, when I tried it, it, like, it was so delicious. It, it went just like super sweet. Yeah, and, and sometimes people in restaurants have better words for it, but I don't know if you can beat just that, that tang that yeah. does. Yeah, that's what it is. And, and then I was like, I love crunch to it. And that's how it is when it finished because you want it to set overnight. Mm -hmm. I would say a couple hours to overnight, but the longer the better, and it still that's has great. that crunch to it. Yeah, that's yes. that's a great thing. Well, then you mastered it, and then of course, um, as people go along, so they're gonna taste this. There's so many so many different ways we can we can use mayonnaise, make something great. Along the history stop tour, mm -hmm. um, one place you would learn all about is Weish Pavilion. Taryn, what do we what do we learn during that tour? Uh, so you know, a lot of people don't know the history of Eugenia Duke. She is like a pioneer when it comes to female entrepreneurs. She started Duke's Mayonnaise back in the early 1920s. She was actually selling her sandwiches during World War One for wow. 10 cents each, and people loved the condiment, and so they encouraged her to package the condiment. And so the Weish Pavilion was the original Duke's Mayonnaise factory. Wow. That's incredible. And so and many people don't know that they visit. The they're downtown every yeah. year and have no idea. And the morale she built yeah. with that mayonnaise is incredible. I mean, there I have met a person yeah. who actually has a Duke's mayonnaise tattoo. Like, there is a whole <laughs> group of people that are Team Dukes here. And wow. The, and the thing for me is that my stepdad worked there for over 20 years at a CF Sour Place in Malden. That's is that how right? I was introduced to it. Yeah. And that's where Dukes is now packaged. So, I mean, it is something... Yeah. Heritage to Greenville is something that we can yeah. only own, and culinary tourism is so hot. People travel for food, and so why not travel to Greenville yeah. for a mayonnaise well, it's trail? It's funny, and, and you don't realize, it's, this, it's so authentic, even yes. though it seems That's, like you're talking about a huge brand. This is us. That's this right. is this and, Greenville. Yes. And so you can go all over the county. We have 20 restaurants that we ask for their signature dish that has to have Duke's mayonnaise in it. Yeah, yes. so that is the, the Mayo Trail event <laughs> for National, <laughs> Mayonna National Sandwich Day yeah. launches this Friday, November 3rd. Um, anything you'd want us to know before we go on? Just, you know, maybe how you make the most of that tour and... I would be mindful of, you know, overconsumption of mayonnaise. I don't know what that could do for you, but, you know, maybe just pace yourself. This tour is I not going to find away. out. You have plenty of time. It's not going away. It's a self-guided tour. So yes. maybe try to hit one a week or two a week and just check them all off, you know, as you go. And Don't eat and all the food in one day. I like that. Check out all the mayo stops. Plenty of time. Um, anything yes. else going on at Bobby's or any other um, tips that we can take home and really just kind of experimenting with these ingredients well, and making the, it fun? Well, with the uh, coleslaw, like we got the recipe up here. Um, we put it out there for the public and anything yeah, else cool. you gotta have what you can add to it and um come by Bobby's. We open Thursday, Friday, Saturday from eleven to eight. Well and I like a man who'll put his recipe out because you know people are still gonna come to you. Yes. Uh, how do you make people feel when they go in? What's that experience? Oh uh, man, get? we just love on people, man. Yeah. We feed the body and the soul. We just got through celebrating five years. We couldn't do it without all y'all. So I'm just thankful. Yeah, I'm gonna love on them. Yeah. Give them a hug if they let me. Oh, I love it. Well that's what that's what people like about you all. Uh Taryn Tay, thank you so much for yeah. being here. Thank you. We really appreciate this. It'll be a fun one. We're gonna put information about Eugenia Duke's unofficial guide to Greenville yes. and this Mayo Trail. We're going to have that 
online and we'll have a link to everything on accesscarolina.com.